in our sixth question there's a sniper who shoots a bullet at some inclination from the ground towards a bird flying in the negative x direction so the bird is flying in the negative x direction at a constant height of 1600 feet because of gravity the path of the bullet is a projectile as shown in this diagram so this is the bullet it is going in this particular parabolic path and this is the bird which is going in the negative x direction at a constant height of 1600 feet. Now they have given the height y of the bullet at, at t seconds as this function, this is a quadratic function, y is equal to uit minus half gt square, where ui is the initial vertical speed and that is also given here, it is equal to 400 feet per second. And the value of g is also given here, 32 feet per second square. And then the distance traveled by the bullet in the x direction is given by x is equal to uxt and ux is equal to ui is equal to 400 feet per second. Neglecting the effect of the wind and everything, find the position of the hitting. Where will the bullet hit the bird? And that would be here where y is equal to 1600 for the bullet. So let's use the y equation and the y equation is uyt minus half gt square. So uyt minus half gt square is equal to y. So we know y is supposed to be 1600 and uy is 400. So you get 400t minus half g is 32 t square. So 2 ones and 2 sixteenths. Now you can cancel off 16 here with this is equal to and this becomes 100 and this becomes 25. So we get a quadratic equation which is t square minus 25 t plus 100 is equal to 0. And if we solve for the roots of this equation we get the time when y is 1600 and we will get two times because y is 1600 twice on this path. So you will get t1 and t2 we are looking for t1 because that is where the bullet will hit the bird. So your two roots are using the formula minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here you will get it as 25 plus or minus root of 625 minus 400 by 2. So that gives us 25 plus or minus root of 225 by 2, which then gives us 25 plus or minus 15 by 2. So we have one solution T1 is equal to 25 minus 15 by 2 and t2 is equal to 25 plus 15 by 2. So this is equal to 5 and this is equal to 20. Clearly t1 is equal to 5 seconds is where our bullet will hit the bird. This is t1 is equal to 5 seconds. And we already know the y coordinate of this place. So for finding the position what is left is to find the x coordinate which we will get from x is equal to ux into t where ux is already given to be 400. So x is equal to 400 into t1 which is 5 and that is equal to 2000 feet. And thus the x coordinate for the point of hitting is 2000 and the y coordinate is 1600 feet. And this is the point where it hits.